Hey, what's up everyone? Guess what? In this video, we will be talking about Uniswap. And in this case, specifically, we are going to be talking about liquidity providing to Uniswap. How to maximize your yield farming on Uniswap. Uniswap V3 allows you to configure the way you want to provide liquidity to the Uniswap liquidity pools. And you can do what I'm going to show you in this video in order to maximize the yields that you can earn from these liquidity pools on Uniswap. And you can really use any token, any cryptocurrency that you want because Uniswap is compatible with hundreds of them. And I will also show you how to minimize impermanent loss. And before moving forward, I just want to remind you that impermanent loss doesn't mean that you are losing money. It just means that when comparing to just holding the asset, you will be better off just holding the asset because impermanent loss happens because you are providing liquidity to a pool and people are swapping and buying more of one token in, in exchange for the other token. And you will end up with more of one token instead of the other. So if the price, let's say you are providing liquidity to an ETH USDC um, pool and the price of ETH goes up. So people will buy, 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 buy that ETH and you will end up with more USDC than ETH. So you are not losing money, but if you just had the ETH yourself, maybe you'll do more money. But you also need to consider on the other hand that you will be collecting fees because in DEXs, the centralized exchanges, you, the liquidity provider, the yield farmer, is the person that is paid, right? In centralized exchanges, the centralized exchange will collect the fees and keep the fees from them for themselves. In decentralized exchanges, you provide liquidity, the platform will collect the fees and distribute the majority of the fees to the liquidity providers. In fact, at this precise moment, Uniswap distributes 100% of the fees that are collected to the liquidity providers. And there are different tier of fees and I will show you how do they work and how to maximize your yield. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm here on the Uniswap protocol. I'm going to click launch app. Right, and before showing you how to provide liquidity to Uniswap, let me just quickly show you uh, how to swap, how to do a simple swap. Uh, in this case, I'm going to switch to Optimism. Optimism, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Celo are cheaper in terms of transaction fees than Ethereum. These layer twos are cheaper, and I have a little bit of Ether on Optimism. So I'm going to switch to Optimism. All right, approve. And now, uh, as you see here, I have a little bit of ETH in my uh, Optimism wallet. I could provide these ETH, let's say this amount of ETH, and exchange it to USDC. So 0.025 ETH will give me 32.69 USDC. So if I just connect my wallet, I'll be able to click swap and I'll pay a little bit transaction fee. Now the reality is that I actually want to swap a little bit because to provide liquidity, we will provide a, a pair. So I want to provide ETH and USDC. So let's say I want to swap this amount of ETH for USDC. So let's go ahead, click and swap very quickly. This is going to give me 19, around 19 US dollars. The gas fee, as you see, because we are on Optimism, is very low. It's only 8 cents. So let's go again ahead, click confirm, and done. Okay, so now we have a little bit of ease and a little bit of USDC in our wallets. So I'm going to pulls, and I can click new position, or you could also check top pools. Let me just show you these top pools because it will give you a good idea of the different pools. So we have here the pool, the fee that is charged by this pool, the TVL and the volume. Usually pools that have 
high volume and lower TVL when compared to the volume are the best ones, are the ones that collect most fees. A lot of volume with a lower total value locked, with lower liquidity, high volume means that more fees are generated to the liquidity providers, okay? So you could always check these pools if you are hunting for those juicy uh, LP rewards, okay? But uh, let's go, I want to, I don't want to look at the top pools because I already know what pool I want to do. I want to do ETH and USDC because these are the tokens that I have. And we could select here uh, the fee that we want to collect, uh, 0.05 or 0.3%. It seems that most people collect uh, the 0.05% fee. This basically means that whenever people exchange ETH for USDC within the price range that we are going to select, you are going to collect 0.05, which at the end of the day or at the end of the month or the year, it's actually a quite good uh, yield. Okay, so now we could select here a price range from the current price, right? And the wider the range, less impermanent loss you will have, okay? Because if you have a very wide range, if you do like a range something like this, so you um, you are providing liquidity from zero to two thousand dollars per ETH, so you are distributing your uh, your liquidity across a very wide range. You will suffer less impermanent loss, but you will also collect less fees. While if I put something more, okay, if the current current price is 1,308, I'm going to put here 1,307 and uh, on this end, 1,310. So this is a, a, a smaller range and I will collect a lot of fees concentrated here. But you need to have into account that this will have a high impermanent loss. Again, high impermanent loss doesn't mean that you are going to lose money. It just means that if the price of it goes above your range, you will have everything in USDC. If the price of it goes below your range, you'll basically have uh, the entire amount in it. If this was not clear, let me show you here this calculator that will really help you to visualize what I'm trying to say. So this is a Uniswap calculator, already selected here USDC is. And here, basically you see the, the blue is where the liquidity is concentrated. So people are providing more liquidity around the current price. The pink line is the current price. Uh, the current price of ETH, according to the tool, is 1,308. And if you provide the liquidity um, between, uh, like, uh, around this, this range that you see here, you'll have um, estimated fees, estimated reward of one, of $1.6, if you deposit $1,000, of course. But um, let's say if I provide liquidity between, um, I'm trying 1,300, and let's just to simplify 1306, 1310. Okay, I want to test this. 1306, 1310. So the uh, estimated 24 hours fees will be 70 US dollars. Not bad at all, right? 70 US dollars is 7% of my $1,000 deposit. Of course, here in reality, I'm not depositing $1,000, but it could perfectly be $1,000. But remember, this is a very small range. If the price goes above 1,310, I will basically have everything in USDC because people bought all my ETH. And if it goes below 1,306, I will have everything in ETH. So it's actually, I can drag the price here and test it by myself. So if I observe observe this part, okay, if I drag it to the left, now I have everything in ETH. 
if I drag it to the right, so if the price of it increases, now I have everything in USDC. Of course, I will be collecting the fees, but if the price goes up, the impermanent loss is just that if the price goes up, I'll be better off holding ETH and not USDC. Don't that I'm losing money, I'm not going to lose any money, but I'll be better off just holding ETH. So this is basically what we are going to do. We are going to provide liquidity within a very narrow range to maximize our yields because in this case i'm not worried about impermanent loss you also need to monitor your position to see if you need to update your uh, range but in this case i'm just going to provide this very short range uh, because just for the sake of you know of the tutorial so i click max i'm going to provide 0 0.098 ETH and 17 us dollars uh, usdc so let's go and click approve all right, and now let's add the liquidity. So you double check the price range. You are going to be collecting 0.05 in terms of fees, and uh, the current price of ETH is this price. So we'll be providing within this range. So let's go ahead and click Add. Okay, confirm. Okay, success. So our position was added, and we should now be collecting some juicy fees. Now over here, we can see our position and we can see that it's in range meaning it's creating uh, fees uh, and we have this very cool nft that represents our uh, liquidity uh, position so we can see here the size of our position we have this amount of it this amount of usdc uh, we have already a little bit of fees you see they are growing not too bad and uh, we could eventually click collect fees uh, but it doesn't make sense to collect these fees yet. But this is basically how easy it is to provide liquidity on Uniswap. So it's very cool to see uh, these uh, working and collecting fees as people buy and sell, swap their ETH for USDC and USDC for ETH. And as you can see, according to the uh, calculator, the uh, yields may be very uh, juicy. Of course, we are putting here a very very narrow range and it will be very easy to get the price out of the range and as soon as the price gets out of the range you stop earning yield that's why these yields are not very realistic in fact because you will you will only earn in this case if the price of it is between 1306 and 1310 that's what we have here in our pool and if the price gets out of this range then you stop earning that's why this calculator is like a not really really realistic but it kind of gives you an idea of like the potential that uniswap v3 liquidity providing uh, may have all right that's all for this video and i'll see you on the next one